Kalau ada arahan, I want to say this supaya Razak Baginda doesn't get the bad end of the stick because he, he has been acquitted. Kalau ada arahan, at the most, it goes to the level of Razak Baginda. There has been a complete disjoint between Datuk Sri Najib and Razak Baginda. So, it's only there. But why are people looking at Datuk Sri Najib? I'll tell you, it's not speculative. I think the question of superior order doesn't arise. Sungguh pun mereka cuba masukkan defence of superior order. Superior order doesn't work here because this is a total crime. If a superior tells you to go and murder, you can't do it. You cannot obey that order because yeah. it is a crime. So the question of superior order doesn't arise. So this is pure, two pure criminals that acted in the most heinous way to kill undefended women, probably even pregnant she was. And there is no defense. For them to say we took orders from someone, it just doesn't make any sense. They try to link it with Musa. Jadi Musa Safri kata, saya hanya memperkenalkan Hazilah kepada Razak Baginda. Tetapi the level stops at Razak Baginda. Yeah. But something else is very important. Must clarify. Why is it coming out no. recently from mm. 2019 mm. onward? Mm. Why 2019 onward? 2018, AMNO lost the election. Barisan Nasional lost the election. The government went to somewhere else. And then suddenly in 2019, Hazila swore a statutory declaration and an affidavit. Kali pertama yang Datuk Seri Najib dituduh sebagai dalang yang mengarahkan Hazila dan juga uh, Sirul untuk melakukan ini. Now, very important pada masa itu kes SRC is going on Datuk Seri Najib sedang memberi keterangan because defense was called and I think about that period you notice Datuk Seri Najib was involved in a lot of campaigning now shockingly the Attorney General then Tommy Thomas sent a DPP never happened before to the pusat pertahanan where Sirol was to record statement to clarify and I know they were hoping that some implication of Najib can happen five statement were made nasib baik DPP ni adalah orang yang tegas mm. and very honest dia kata dalam lima statement tu satu je implicate dia yang empat lagi contradict so what is this move the move is to get Najib charged for murder because if you charge Najib for murder straight away he's thrown into jail no more campaign for Barisan Nasional I feel that was the overriding moving force behind it